So today, YouTube, we're going to be talking about the difference between AC current and DC current and understanding it so that way if you're able to uh, do repairs on uh, lawn tractors, vehicles, anything. So, uh, first off, um, we're going to probably start by what does AC and DC stand for. So, AC starts for alternating current, meaning it's power that is created by generator so in this case there's an alternator or stator underneath here and it generates the power to run this engine here to charge the battery uh, battery is DC current and the alternator is AC current so uh, one thing when you actually you cannot mix AC and DC current together to two opposites so what has to happen is you have to have a uh, special unit on there called a regulator or uh, sometimes a simple diode system can do that the difference between the regulators are is the regulators actually change the current as the engine revs up if you have a diode on it just switches it over to DC so if you over rev the engine here you're also going to be over revving the battery and if it's uh that's one other problem that I have with this here since I put a gas pedal on it and I can over rev this engine that means it can overcharge the battery. Now, if the engines run at a certain speed, you can't overcharge the battery if they have the governor on it for very long. So, I'm going to have to have a switch rigged up. It's still not done yet, but I'm going to have to have a switch, rig switch rigged up here that I can actually shut the charging system off uh, because it will not use power uh, after I um, after I st start it up. This engine don't use power from the battery it runs on its own magnetos and coils and stuff so uh, it only needs the power to start it up and then I just let it run for a little bit and then I shut that off so I can rev it up but anyways uh, that kinda just explains uh, the regulators and stuff either that or I can put a regulator on it but uh, it's probably more simpler to do it that way and it's not an issue but um anyways so uh uh, we're also going to talk about amps, so, uh, picture this, a 9 volt battery, a little thing like this that you stick on your tongue and you make your tongue feel all silly or whatever, I don't know, but you stick it on your tongue and it zaps you, now, here's a 12 volt battery, it's only 3 volts more, you stick that on your tongue, it kills you, so, um, What's the difference there? Well, it's actually called amps. What people don't realize is, and I, I, some kids that go to tech, you know, I know I talk to kids that on a, on a, my tech bus and stuff, and they're saying, it only takes 14 volts to kill you and stuff and everything, and they're talking, and they said, well, you could, like, seriously, and they were talking about, like, 9-volt batteries on their tongues and stuff. Well, these kids were, like, in robotics, and they should know what the difference between amps are and um, the voltage and they're saying they're talking about all oh, like like could you imagine like well then why don't you die when you hit the uh, when you get like uh, zapped by the electrical outlet and I told him it's amps and he's like oh no amps don't have anything to do with that and I'm like yes it does so uh, it's amps amps uh, control everything here's a 12 volt battery charger this is 12 volts. If I were to hook this uh, up to that in replace of that battery that's in there, I would never get the engine started. I have enough to turn the starter motor over, but not enough to engage it. And it would be 12 volts, meaning it's the right power source for that starter, but it's not enough amps to actually create enough power. This only goes up to 6 amps, which is not enough. Um, battery charger is a piece of junk, but... uh. If I were this battery in here, uh, by the size of this one, it's probably about 350 amp battery. That's only 6 amps, so that can charge the battery with DC current, but it is will not create the amps to uh, power to start this up. So it's the amps that create everything. Another good example is uh, we were up in New York and we have our uh, like a trailer up there and stuff and. Uh, well, we were staying in this campground in our motorhome. We used to have a trailer. But uh, we were running the air conditioner to one night. And uh, 
this was our fourth of July. There was a lot of people up there running, also running air conditioners. And uh, the campground only has so many amps in there. I really don't know how many. But the amps weren't getting low enough. The amps were really low, and the light came on to a 30 amp max. So we still had the 120 volts, or 110, whatever we were getting there. And we still had that 120 volts. It's usually 120 volts. Uh, well, back here, I have 120. Uh, most places, it's 110. But I was still getting that 120 volts. But uh, same power, you know, it's still 120 volts. But the air conditioner, whenever I'd, uh, whenever the compressor would kick in on the air conditioner, the lights would go down. They'd get really dim. And uh, because of that, uh, and the compressor actually rarely kicked on. It actually just jumped back to the fan again. So uh, that's not enough amps. We still have 120 volts, but the amps were low, and I think we actually only had a 30 amp max. So uh, and whenever the compressor kicks in, and it needs to start the compressor, it needs to have a it needs to have I think it was 37 that it was required. So uh, yeah, so we just had low amps. So. Voltage, uh, you know what, let me talk about maybe more motors, starter motors to be exact. If I were to hook a starter motor like this here up to that battery charger there, and I'd sit there, and then I hook another starter motor up to maybe that there, this starter motor would probably most likely run at the same speed as that as the starter motor that's hooked up to that battery so both of them are running at the same speed seem the same but if I were to try to reach up there with a glove and try to grab the shaft on that starter motor that's hooked up onto the uh, bat battery charger well that starter motor would stop if I were to go and try to hook up the sh grab the shaft on the starter motor that's hooked up to that battery there and I grab that shaft on there It'll probably break my finger. So the amps actually create the power, but when you actually have 12 volts, you can still get the same speed of 12 volts coming out of a uh, starter motor, to be as an example. So there's a lot of talking uh, for this, but uh, basically, AC current when it's converted over, it has to be uh, it has to be switched over to DC current in a regulator. So, like I said, the regulator has to adjust the current so that way it can power the battery. So I'm going to talk to you just real quick about a couple other types of batteries that there is here. Uh, oh, another thing. I went this, this one had a bad, dead, dead battery the other way. I went over and uh, used jumper cables and tried to start it with my lawnmower in there, my zero turn. Didn't have enough amps. Battery was only a 350 amp battery and a lot of the amps are lost through the jumper cables. So what I did is I actually pulled my dad's truck over that has a 750 amp battery in there, hooked it right up, the thing fired right up, it cranked right over. So even though it's the same volts, you could put a much bigger battery in there. You could put a 750 amp battery in there and it has the amps. It's whatever amps is available, it can take out into that battery. So let's say I have 750 amps, I can take 750 amps out of that battery if I only have 350 amps, well, I can only take 350 out, and then I may have power issues. But really, it's still the same battery, same voltage. It won't burn out any system on it. So, uh, yeah. So that's kind of the difference between that. Now, I was going to show you real quick before I run out of time. Because uh, I can only upload like 10 minutes, well, mobile anyways. But anyways, uh, here's batteries. These are 6 volt batteries, that's a 12 volt right there. They're uh, just all filled with liquid and stuff, but uh, like water. But um, 6 volt batteries have a lot more amps than the 12 volt batteries, so they can be used to start the same size engines, but it has to have a 6 volt system on it. 12 volt batteries have more volts, but they have uh, less amps than the 6 volts. So usually you can actually get more cranking amps out of a 6 volt battery than you can a 12 volt battery. And the same thing with that. That's a 12, 6 volt battery too. So that kind of explains it a little bit. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.